But it's collaboration time again. This is one of our favorite types of videos that we do. Yeah. This is where we partner with five of our other YouTube friends and we pick a topic and we all talk about it on the same day. Yeah. And what's today's topic? Today we're going to talk about three things that we love about our rig and three things that we would have done a little differently had we designed the rig. <laughs> yeah, we still love our rig, but there is no perfect outline. There There's is perfect, no perfect floor plan for everybody. So there's always a couple of things that you change. Minor tweaks. Yeah. Nothing major, nothing structural. Yeah. It's minor tweaks. So after you get done watching our video, make sure you pop over to these other channels and check out what they would like and what they would change about their RVs. Okay, so first let's start with a positive. Always start with the positive. Yeah, start on a good foot. Yeah. We're gonna talk about these fabulous windows. We love this and yeah. They're like the only ones in the industry that are doing these big drop frame windows yeah. right now. And in here right now we hardly have any lights on. So mm -hmm. this is all mostly natural light. Yes. And when we had the Montana, we had some good light in here, but they didn't have those drop frames. So over here, yeah, over here in the dinette, even in the bedroom, right there by the where the where the little stools are, mm -hmm. where you can put your shoes on or sit to get dressed or whatever. Not much window. Those windows drop further down too, so you get more light in the bedroom as well. Yes. And you know who loves the windows even more than we do? Mm -hmm. Scouts. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Well, the next thing that we love mm -hmm. about our RV is we have three air conditioners. Yes. And we've been in Florida for like uh -huh. 10, 11 months now. Yeah. So when you're in a climate like this, where it's hot and humid, that third air conditioner makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. And the reason that we're standing specifically geographically in this location <laughs> of the RV is because this is where your bonus air conditioner goes. Yeah. Most fifth wheels have two air conditioners. Yeah. Have one in the living room down there mm -hmm. and one in the bedroom upstairs. But in the Alliance, we get a third bonus one right here, which is good for me because it's right by the dinette, right where I'm sitting in this hot slide doing edit. editing yeah. <laughs> so I get that nice cool air blowing on me yeah. and it doesn't freeze you out over on that end yeah in the Montana when we only had two air conditioners mm -hmm. we'd have both air conditioners running non-stop and it would still only get down to like 80 in here yeah which is we, just, we struggled it's not comfortable no no so, not for you yeah so three air conditioners yeah definite plus oh yeah Third thing that we absolutely love is the fireplace. Not only does it serve the purpose of actually kicking out real heat in the wintertime when it gets cold, Alliance has made some storage opportunities behind their fireplaces where a lot of the other fifth wheels in the industry don't do that. And for us, it's awesome because in here, that's the liquor cabinet. Yes, please. Oh, don't mind if I do. There are always some things that we would change, even yeah. though we love our RV. Mm -hmm. But what would you have done differently? Okay. It's ironic though, because when we saw the rig for the first time, I fell in love with this. Yeah. It was a selling point for me, actually. And now not so much. And now not so much, just because I've, I've seen what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, so for me, the first thing I would have tweaked is the stainless steel sinks. Yeah, they look good when they're brand new, and, and they look shiny and, and they clean. look great. Every time when I'm done using it, I wipe it out, and yeah. it dries perfectly fine. But you don't do that, so <laughs> they're great for me. <laughs> so I love them. So they get spotty after you've used them because you don't clean it up. But well, it sounds like her <laughs> dislike is with me <laughs> and not the RV. A little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but. But after a few months, I was like, wow, this is kind of tedious to have to always yeah. wipe it to make it look nice and shiny. Yeah, even with the water softener and the water filter. It's help. It helps. It does help. Yeah. But there still are spots and it still is just irritating. It is. But another way I combat that too, to not have to see what's there, to, I just cover yeah. that so I don't have to look at Which it. Which you can't do in the bathroom. No, I can't do that in the bathroom. But, and... So I think we're like splitting hairs here on, on what we dislike about the RV. Yeah. It's kind of hard to find stuff that we it, don't it like about hard. it. But yeah. I, I would do away with the stainless steel sinks. Okay. Fair enough. 
in our RV, we don't have a dedicated pantry. So we took this wardrobe closet and kind of turned it into our pantry. So that is one of the downfalls too. For us, it wasn't that big a deal, but we have talked to people in our same model who it was a deal breaker or who were considering our model. And they said, you know, maybe I don't want the 340 RL because it doesn't have a dedicated pantry. And the people who do have our model, it is a point of frustration on like the Facebook groups and stuff like that. They really would like a dedicated pantry space. For us, it's not a big deal. We have plenty of closet space. So we just use this as our pantry. Last but not least, the tweak we would make is the washer and dryer layout. Now, it wasn't a deal breaker in the rig. We prefer, like our Montana had, the stackable in a closet to the side of the main closet. It was super convenient, super easy to get in and out of. This one takes a little more work to have to transfer from one side to the other. Not a huge deal, but it is an inconvenience for some people. All I really have to do is just scrunch my stuff together and I can swing the doors open no problem. But if I had an option to have stackable instead of this, I would totally pick stackable. There's our three things that we really, really love about our RV. There's way more than three. Oh, we could yeah. have gone on all day about the things we love about the RV. <laughs> yeah. And the three things that we would have changed, even though for us, it's not really that we hate it. It's just that we not, would have changed it. Preference. Yeah, our personal preference. So leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about our likes and our dislikes of our, of our RV. And make sure you pop over to those other five channels and check yeah. out their videos. We will leave a link in the description to the playlist so you can go watch all of them. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor and remember a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, Everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.